summer vacation. Summer vacation! Well, if you're a student, that is true. Or a school teacher. Student or school teacher. Some of us, we work year round. That's a whole other story. Anyway, if you are one of the millions of students or teachers who is going to get a much needed summer vacation and maybe looking for a little bit of side money, I have found the highest paying summer jobs for 2017. The first one is babysitting and or nannying. Of course, you have to like children, be responsible. When I was a nanny, I liked to, you know, go above and beyond, so I became CPR certified, and then I took a couple classes in like emergency training and childcare. And I remember earning like somewhere between like eight and twelve dollars an hour. Nowadays, babysitters or nannies make anywhere between ten and twenty dollars an hour, depending on the size of family and the requirements needed to take care of the children. Job number two is a lifeguard. You're getting paid to get a tan and keep people alive. Lifeguards earn on average 10 to $12 an hour, and I do believe you guys have to take a couple tests and training to prove A, you can swim, you can you know, perform CPR. I think there's a few others, but I'm not exactly sure what they are, so I will not include any further information on it. Again, average median salary is between 10 and $12 an hour, and I'm pretty sure it gets you not only a free tan, you can swim during your off time, and some places let you bring your family and friends for free. Number three on my list is a barista. Whether or not you work full-time or part-time, baristas on average make between $10 and $13 an hour, plus tips. Then at the end of the day, in the fall, you'll know how your pumpkin spice lattes are made, your cappuccinos, all that good stuff. You know how all of it's made. Typically, baristas need to be not only good at handling, you know, coffee making, blending, they have to be good at hospitality. I'm noticing more and more and loving this, that baristas are more in tune to know your name, more than saying, hi, how are you? They ask how your day is going, wanted a little bit more. And then some of them I'm noticing remember, like, hi, Kristen, how are you doing? Are your auditions coming up? Which is amazing to me because it kind of brings that you know, a little bit of home hospitality into your coffee visit, and it's just, if you like talking to people, it's nice. Number four is one of my favorites, and it is dog sitting and or house sitting. I did this a lot. I sometimes still do it when like my close friends or family go out of town. Typically, it's just visiting the home one or two times a day, taking in the mail, making sure lights are on at the end of the day if they wanna make sure they look like they're home at night, and that they have an animal to walk it, feed it, etc. On average, home and or dog sitting will pay you between $10 and $20 a day. If you wanna be a little bit more adventurous, number five is a camp counselor. Again, you must like children, you must be responsible as in camp counseling, a lot of times you are spending like your nights in the cabins with the kids, so responsibility at its highest. Average median salary is between three to $500 a week, and the best part about being a camp counselor is you're not paying rent to live there. Like I did this one summer and it was great because I got to go live in the mountains and I taught music to these girls at a summer camp. They paid for all my food. Um, I had to get myself to the camp, which was nine hours away. They reimbursed me for my gas. And then for the three months I was there, paid no rent, no food. It was great. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, look into camp counseling. You will not be sorry, unless you don't like kids. And last on this list is personal assistant. This one can be a little bit more difficult to obtain, but if you know somebody who's really busy and you have the time, it never hurts to ask, you know, if they're looking for somebody to help them, even if it's just pick up their groceries, their laundry, help straighten up their home, pick up their kids. A lot of families with multiple kids have a rough time in the summer. They just need somebody to pick up their five kids and their laundry and groceries laundry, I meant to say dry cleaning, and get them home. And a lot of people will pay and be very appreciative to have a kind of a personal assistant. The average salary for a part-time personal assistant is between 10 and $20. The median was right at 15. It just depends on what that person needs. If they need more from you, obviously you'll get paid more. If there are kids involved, you'll get paid more. But it's really nice and it's not a bad gig for a little bit of extra summer spending money. Anyway, those are my top six summer jobs for the year of 2017. 
If there is anything that you think I missed and should be included in this list, please leave them down in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, as always. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to click the little red subscription button down below, as well as the bell next to it. You'll be updated each and every time I upload a video and or live stream. That is it for this video. I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic summer.